Good morning, ladies. So, have you ever wanted to absolutely love the holidays and you just really couldn't get into the Christmas spirit because of the way you were raised or the toxic family you were brought up in and every holiday always comes around and you always feel like just exhausted like you're always you never want to you never look forward to the holidays you never seem to really enjoy the holidays like everybody else well me too until not so recently not not so recently not so long ago i for the longest time despised putting the christmas tree up i didn't like decorating the christmas tree i didn't like the spending time with family um I much so looked forward to the times where we went over to other people's homes because going over to other people's homes meant that my family had to act in a certain way. They had to put on their best faces again. They had to act a different way from the way they were at home. So I always looked forward to going over to other people's homes because I knew that if I went over to someone else's homes that I would at least feel semi-normal, uh, if that makes sense. I always looked forward to going over to um actually my sister-in-law's house because even though they were a part of the family my mom still acted very different from how she acted at home she always put on her best face she always put on her best smile so i was always super excited and i knew that when I went over to someone else's house that I was able to be me and that I was able to breathe and I never felt like I was walking on eggshells. I felt like I could be a normal teenage girl or even a young girl. So I never wanted to spend quality time alone with the family so that meant I didn't like hanging up Christmas decorations I didn't like putting up the Christmas tree and being all festive um, because that usually meant that you were spending time with the family and that's the last thing I wanted to do so when I got out of that toxic relationship with my family and I came into the relationship that I am in now with two amazing sympathetic communicative partners I always felt like the Grinch <laughs> because I never wanted to set up the Christmas tree I didn't look forward to the day before Christmas Eve to set up the Christmas tree or whenever you set up the Christmas tree. Um, Christmas music really didn't jive with me. I always felt irritated that Christmas music was on. I, I just, I didn't enjoy it at all. And I think one thing that really did help me was having the time spent away from the toxicity of what used to be. So I was able to create new family traditions around setting up the Christmas tree and listening to Christmas music and 
going around the neighborhood to look at all the Christmas lights. I enjoy those things now. I get so excited when there, <laughs> I get so excited when there's Christmas music on that you can ask my partner, Leslie, like we walked into the store and I just got like super excited because they were playing Christmas music. So I look forward to putting up the Christmas tree and listening to Christmas music and just that Christmas vibe, those holiday vibes. And so I think one thing, well, two things that helped me was having a family, a new family who really understood my hiccups around holidays and they were willing to work with me and another thing was they showed me I don't know how many times people have said actions speak louder than words but it is so so true actions speak louder than words because I don't know how many times they have actively shown me that putting up the Christmas tree and listening to Christmas music and wrapping gifts for other people can be fun and non-toxic and stress-free. So it is so important to be surrounded by people who understand where you've been and they're willing to work with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You got some insight and some clarity around how to enjoy the holidays again. Um, next week, we are going to be talking about how to set up your New Year's goals. There's a lot of people who they get so excited about the New Year, they go all out in planning their new year but half like at the beginning of the year middle of I don't know February I want to say they kind of start drifting off of those new year's resolution goals that they made so in the next video we're going to talk about my old goals we're going I'm going to show you my old goals and I'm going to show you my new ones and we're going to talk about the difference and the changes I have made to my mindset. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and if you want to join a community with like-minded girls, I will be linking the Facebook group of Taking It Back down below. So make sure you click on that and join us. It's an amazing community. With that said, I hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!